Shalom, beloved family. It's your girl, Sophia Spiritualite, and we're here for our daily prayer and reading. Of course, we meet every day at that Moor Sassor. We say a prayer, we read a psalm, and then we do a three-card reading just to see what messages we can get from the Most High and from the angels. So without further ado, all praise, glory, and honor goes to the Most High, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the great I am loving kindness, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, Enoch, Moses, Noah, and Solomon. We thank you for another day to labor in the vineyard. We ask for permission to speak with the angels for just a few moments so that we are able to get a message that allows us to be of better service to you and to the kingdom. Immortal, eternal, ineffable, and sacred father of all things, who is carried on the chariot rolling without cease, of the worlds which rotate always, ruler of the etheric plane where your throne of power is exalted and from whose heights thy formidable eyes discover everything and your beautiful and saintly ears hear everything. Hearken to your children, whom you have loved from their birth through all times. Since your lasting, great, and eternal majesty shines brightly over the world and starry heaven, thou art raised above them. O sparkling fire, there you light and maintain yourself in the appropriate splendor. There comes forth from your being never failing streams of light which nourish your infinite spirit. This infinite spirit generates all things and makes this inexhaustible treasure of matter which cannot fail to procreate that which always surrounds it because of the forms without number with which it is filled and with which you have filled it since the beginning of time. From this spirit, the very saintly kings who are standing around your throne who compose your court also draw their origin. O universal Father, O unique one, O Father of blissful mortals and immortals, you have particularly created the powers which are marvelously like your eternal thought and your adorable essence. You have established them superior to the angels who announce your wishes to the world. Finally, you have created us sovereigns over the elements. Our continued exertion is to praise you and to adore your desires. We burn with the desire to be possessed of you. O oh, Father, O oh, Mother, the most tender of mothers, O oh, admirable example of tender sentiments of mothers, O oh, Son, the flower of all sons, O oh, mold of our shapes, well-beloved, spirit, soul, harmony, and number of things, we adore you. To the angels, to our guardian angels, to the archangels, to the council of nine, to the council of twelve, to the council of twenty-four, to the twenty-four elders, to the forty-two letter name of the Most High, to the seventy-two letter name of the Most High, to the hundred and forty-four thousand angels on the council, to the two hundred and sixteen angels on the tree of life, to the entire administration of angels, and to all the angels whose names we know and the ones whose names we do not know, we ask that you come and be with us for just a moment. Give us Please, a message that will allow us to be of better service to the Most High and to the kingdom. All right, let's read Psalm 51. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken and may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. 
Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then shall thou offer bullocks upon thine altar. Selah. All right, so we have our daytime deck here, of course. And um, we use the Tarot of Light for the daytime. And again, it correlates directly with the rider weight. It's easy to understand. It's easy to use. It, um, you know, has nice, warm, fuzzy pictures on it. And if you go to the website um, and leave us your email address, you can get a coupon for 10% off physical orders and $5 off our courses. The next course coming up is next weekend. I surely hope it's not this weekend. I think it's next weekend. And it's actually the course on the first course on enzymes, which is going to be talking about yogurt. And this particular course is specifically going to talk about how to make the yogurt. And then I have a bunch of recipes, stuff that I use, tips and tricks. And then, you know me, I'm going to go into the history, um, you know, uh, and this is why it's going to be a two part, because the second part of the enzymes course is next month. And that's going to be um sourdough and um that class is actually going to have a lot of information too um but uh i'm going to try like that's why i broke it up because if i just try to do one course on and there'll be a third course on enzymes because we're going to have to talk about um vinegar and um um probably just vinegar for one whole um enzymes course and then we're going to have to talk about um uh, we still need to talk about, um, kefir and, um, actually I'll probably talk about kefir in the yoga course, milk products. Um, but we do need to talk about fermenting like wine and hard liquor and stuff like that. So, um, not hard liquor, uh, uh, like hard ciders and stuff. So, um, we're, that's going to, we'll continue along with this process with enzymes probably until the end of the year. And then the beginning of the year, we're going to start on, um, African Negro American, uh, or Atlantean American, uh, entrepreneurship from reconstruction to the 1930s when they destroyed everything basically, um, in their, uh, reckless pursuit of, uh, maintaining their stock market. So. Without further ado, all praise, glory, and honor goes to the Most High, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the great I am, loving kindness, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, Enoch, Moses, Noah, and Solomon. We thank you for another day to labor in the vineyard. We, of course, ask again for permission to speak with the angels for just a few moments so that we can get a message that will allow us to be of better service to you and to the kingdom. To the Holy Mother, we thank you for always being with us and guiding us down the path of life. We acknowledge our older, wiser brother, Yahawashai, and the perfect example that he set. And of course, to the angels whom we've already called in, we ask that you give us a message that's clear, that's easy for us to understand, woo, that's easy for us to apply, and that allows us to be of better service to the Most High and to the kingdom. And when you give us the message, we will let the Most High know. So you are given credit for your hard work, um, and everything that you do for us. So as we ascend, you are also able to ascend. You know that. You know that. All right, let's see what we got. What do we have? All right, our first card, revolution, the turnaround. Definitely yesterday was a revolution of the mind for me. Um, I don't know how everybody else feels. Can't get a temperature check because there's no lives. Um, the next card is six, ecstasy, which is exactly half of 12. The lovers, exactly halfway through half of 12 is six. And our last card, we have the three of hearts, which is joy. So y'all are going to notice immediately. Let me just do this so y'all can see it. Immediately, y'all are going to see what I see. Immediately. So before we can even, again, before I even open the book, we have 12, we have 6, we have 3. Half of 12 is 6. Half of 6 is 3. So... 
this is it's like a countdown you know what i mean and the time for us for what we're doing is being halved because we're moving so fast we're putting forth the energy and the effort so instead of having to do the regular time now we're coming down to the point where all our time is cut in half everything we do half 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 off because we're meeting the most high where he is time is coming off things are coming off things are going to be fast much faster than before for us the ones who are trying all right so our first card is 12. this is so unbelievable all right 12 revolution of course 12 is a magic number in and of itself, but 1 and 2 is 3. So in the beginning you have 3, and at the end you have 3. And people should keep that in mind. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, 3 in the beginning, 3 at the end. No matter how you break it down, 3 in the beginning, 3 at the end. Okay? Your world is turning upside down. Fighting it will only cause hurt. Surrender, and you will feel yourself gently turning to a new perspective. The turnaround represents an experience, situation, event, or person that will turn your world upside down so that an unneeded part of your life can shake loose. Hang in there. You have plenty of time to review things and do some soul searching. What do you need to surrender for inner peace? What hangups do you have? What people or circumstances have you been waiting to change? If you feel the need to manage and control your life, you may find this time difficult. For this is the very thing that is holding you back from your desires. Relax, let go, and feel yourself turning toward your dreams. And this correlates with the hangman, which is transition, abandonment, boredom, and sacrifice. And so for me per per personally, the way this has shown up in my life is that I don't fight back against people. You know, um, I, I say what the Most High has me to say, as in with my experience with the, with, with the people on Wednesday. However... Everybody else, I don't, I don't, I'm not fighting back against you. If you want this knowledge that I have, you come in peace, accepting me and my relationship with the Most High, and I will give you peace. But if you don't come in peace, I don't have anything for you. I, I'm, I have no response at all. I'm not going to respond to people. I'm not going to respond to evil with evil. Uh, I'm going to send the evil back where it comes from. So there's a big difference between responding to evil with evil and um, returning to sender. Those are two totally different things. Elvis had a song called Return to Sender, right? And um, it's funny because that song came out just before they switched from zones to zip codes. So people who hear that song today have no idea what he's talking about when he says zone. No such number, no such zone. That's because before there were zip codes, there were zones. And, of course, I, I'm from the country, so I remember seeing stuff still being written in zones and having to go back and fix it and all kinds of crazy stuff. So, um, anyway, that's neither here nor there, but that's what it is. It's like return to sender, no such number, no such zone. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who you are, you know, instead of. Um, arguing with this with with a spirit a person who is possessed by a demonic spirit or uh, infernal spirit for their purpose whatever the purpose the most high has for them um you know at that time you know that's fine you know but at the same time you have to be in tune with the spirit to know when is the time to say something and when is the time not to say something like i've been fussing and fighting with certain people I don't say anything. I haven't said anything except to say, you know, I have nothing to say. I don't I don't have to respond to you and therefore I won't. And, um, you know, that's a perfectly responsible response because you don't want to say something you don't mean. You don't want to fight against them. You don't want to start an argument. Um, there is a difference between advocating and argument arguing. But you can tell advocating, you advocate your, for yourself in a sense when there's someone in authority. But if you're dealing with someone who's your equal, then that would be an argument. So you don't, you don't argue with people who are on the same level as you. You advocate your, for yourself with people who are, uh, proclaim themselves to be on a different level than you with titles and so much. So I would obviously advocate with someone uh, advocate myself with a boss or you know police or whatever I would advocate for myself but if somebody they don't proclaim to have a title they're they're just you know a labor in the vineyard like you you don't even need to argue with those people there's no need to argue you just 
you don't have to advocate for yourself with those people either because who you're advocating to they don't have any more power than you have so you just leave it alone and you keep moving on so i hope that um makes sense to everybody um how to move forward and this course was in our yesterday position so let's see what's up for today and today we have the lovers which is ecstasy a union with another gives you freedom to be who you truly are embrace all aspects of yourself and liberate your spirit of love the lovers affirms that you are ready to feel love in all its splendid forms the reflection of another will inspire you to welcome acknowledge and love the sum total of yourself a new romantic relationship is imminent or may have already arrived in your life this card may also indicate the deepening of an existing relationship that makes it feel renewed if you do not have a partner this card sees you embracing and accepting more of yourself it is time to love yourself more fully so that you can love and be loved more completely and this correlates, of course, with the lovers, which is attraction, love, yearning, trials overcome. Again, as you learn to love yourself, you will overcome whatever you've been experiencing because we don't have a lack of stuff. We have a lack of love we, and the love of ourselves and the love of all the angels that comprise us and all of the um, the element, elemental beings that contribute to us. And that's why a lot of people are not seeing what they want manifest because they are looking for something to happen that can only happen from within. And instead of working on trying to get that thing to happen from within, they're looking for, to some, you know, some God, some God in, in the sky, sky daddy, to come down and solve the problem but the most high is within you you are you are the indwelling of wisdom the holy spirit is within you she dwells within you the christ the Christ, the crystal sophia and and the christ consciousness is within you it's not out there somewhere it's in there somewhere and so the more the the longer people fight against that loving themselves more completely the most completely as they possibly can the worse it is from them and it only gets worse and worse from here because as you can see our time is speeding up our time is going fast our time is accelerating and everyone else time is slowing down you know so the reverse of this is your three to six your six to twelve your twelve to twenty four you know stuff that should have that, so i i look at this as saying the stuff that should take you know, 12 days is going to take six days. The stuff that should take six days is going to take three days. You know what I mean? The stuff that should take 12 hours is going to take six hours. The stuff that's going to take six hours is going to take three hours. That means we are manifesting the fruits of the spirit. They are coming out of us. You know, that they're, they're not coming into us. The fruits, you don't, the, okay, think about how fruit grows on a tree, right? When the fruit grows on a tree, it doesn't, it's not fruit coming into us. It's the fruit is coming out. It's manifesting on the outside. But the fruit was always in the tree. The fruit was always in the seed. But it needed water. It needed love. It needed, you know, the 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 Oriel to give it the, that beautiful sunshine. It needed Anahiel to give it the dew. It needed, you know, the Rahaviel to give the wind. It needed all those things to come in and, and, and contribute to it. And as it contributed to... The seed and the growing of the seed, the seed grew into a tree. And in the, or, or for vines, the, the seed uh, grew, into, the vine sprouted, the vine bare fruit. And so, but the fruit is only bared when you pour into yourself. It wasn't from outside that bared the fruit. It was from, it was outside that poured in. But if you don't have the seed in you, you can't become a pear tree if you're an apple tree. You know what I mean? If, if you're a child of light, you're going to bear the fruit of a child of light. And, you know, the light chose you. You didn't you didn't choose the light when uh, a, a grape didn't choose to be a grape. It, it just always has been a grape. You know, that's just like going to the kingdom. You you don't choose to go to the kingdom. The kingdom has always been with you. You just didn't know how to activate um, the fruits of the spirit, you know. And so that's. Um, that's what I get from this card is that, you know, and also like something that I do is that, um, and this could be right or wrong, but whatever, this is how I do. If a, if a loved one or person comes to me and they clearly have a different spirit on them, I address the spirit. So sometimes people have spirits jump on them, right? We obviously all saw that with a certain YouTuber, um, and then I saw that same thing with, um, the people I had to interact with on Wednesday. 
And um, I've seen that same thing with people I have to interact with in my own household. And the spirit jumps on them. And when a certain spirit jumps on them and un an infernal spirit, don't interact with the spirit. Just refuse to interact with the spirit. And then when the spirit jumps on them, don't acknowledge the spirit anymore because the person may or may not even know that that spirit jumped on them. And so like, like begging for forgiveness from a person who is unaware that spirits jump on and off them is kind of ridiculous. You know what I mean? Like the, the person doesn't even know what you're talking about half the time. They're like, or as you're talking to them about what they did, you're bringing that spirit, you're invoking that spirit back onto them. So what I do is, you know, because I've been doing my karma cleanse. I did one last night as a result of, you know, my interaction on Wednesday. I felt much better. And one thing I did as a part of my karma cleanse is, you know, part of it has to do with relationships. And I said, well, you know, this is what you want. This is whatever. And I was like, you know, y'all, this, the spirit that keeps jumping on these certain people, I can't handle it. I, I don't, I cannot interact with the spirit. So you guys are going to have to do whatever it takes to take the spirit away. I don't want to deal with the spirit anymore. And it needs to be bound forever from my presence. Because if I have to deal with it, I won't. I refuse. I refuse to deal with the spirit. So you're going to have to do something about that. And so once you develop a relationship with these various angels, they will take your words and they will do something about it. You know what I mean? Like that's the whole point of knowing who the angels are so that you can make the best use of them and you don't have to deal with stuff unnecessarily. So while I was doing cosmetic things to deal with certain spirits and certain spirits can be dealt with cosmetically, you know, the spirits that are left that, that can still come into our presence, these are pretty strong spirits, you know, these are high ranking spirits. And so you have to deal with them. I, you can't fight a spirit like that. You have to fight a spirit like that with another spirit. So you have to call in all the spirits that you can, especially the ones you, that you can call my name and say, look, y'all gonna have to deal with this. I'm not doing it. I, I categorically refuse to deal with this spirit. So therefore, you gonna have to do it. And then you just call them and tell them they have to do it. There's, what are they gonna say? You know, they want you to deal with this person. You know, they have demanded it. They have commanded it. They tell you that it's best for you. Y'all gonna have to deal with the spirit. And you can do that with friends. You can do that with everybody. Um, whatever the case may be, that's just how I deal with it. Because, you know, I would love to get to this point where, you know, I'm in this happy, loving, whatever relationship. But it will never happen because I cannot deal with the person with this spirit in a way. And this is with friends. This is with everybody. A lot of people have spirits on them and they don't know it. You can ask, you can ask the spirits to remove that spirit from them. Even if they're clinging to the spirit, they may not want the spirit. Or what did I say earlier? Um, they may not be aware. No, they may not be capable of determining if the spirit is a good spirit or a bad spirit for them due to their poisoning. Poisoning of the mind, poisoning of the spirit, poisoning of the soul. Therefore, you can request that the spirit be removed from them and you are take as as a custodian of that person, of your fellow, you know, friend, you know, brother, sister, whatever the case may be, you as a custodian of them can request that that spirit be removed due to the fact, due to their in capability of identifying the fact that they, that they are engaging with this spirit that is as a caretaker for a person as an emotional or physical whatever caretaker for the person you can re make that request and when you do it in, in during, as a part of your karma cleanse they'll tell you whether you can do it or not now if it's some person you don't know you don't have a relationship with or anything like that it may be a little more difficult i have to do some more you know questioning about that but people that you know that you interact with that you've been friends with that whatever the case may be you can make the request that the spirit is removed from them you know what i mean so that that they are able to make decisions from their own clear mind because especially when you notice that people change and and it's it's like on and off it's on and then it's off so there's certain people i can't ask because i know they do have the uh the capability of removing the spirit from themselves and they're, they're choosing to engage with the spirit i can't do anything about that but for people who you know like especially children or whatever the case may be you can ask for that spirit to be removed on their behalf especially when you're doing your karma cleanse because 
that person is in your custody you know that person is 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 within your realm and therefore um as a custodian you have the ability to make that request that's at least what i just got just now when i started saying it out of my mouth so our last card is the three of hearts and i'm going to try and keep this pretty short which is joy so first we have the revolution things have got shook up turned down all around then after that, the love comes in and, and fills us. The spirit comes in and fills us with, with joy, which is the three of hearts. Catch your breath and celebrate the joyous, multifaceted presence of love in every aspect of your world. The three of hearts invites you to lighten up and be playful. Give yourself permission to have fun. In the coming days, you'll be asked to attend or become otherwise involved with the celebration. Honor the energy of celebration and you will begin to experience it elsewhere in your life. Be swept up in feelings of euphoria. Let the festivities lift you to a state of elation and breathe joy into your dreams. Celebrate everything in your life that has brought you to this moment. The universe, the universe supports you in love. You have the freedom to create a heaven or hell here on earth. What will you celebrate today? And this correlates with the three of cups, which is comfort, satisfactory result, joyous emotions and merriment. My actual birthday is on Chemesh, so uh, I invite you to, um, for the first time asking anything from anybody, to say a special prayer for me um, that I may be strengthened and, and so on and so forth. And um, if I can, I will, I'm going to try and do like a little live stream or whatever and, and just spend a few minutes celebrating um, with, with whoever comes through. So that's a celebration I'm inviting everyone to right now. Um, but in general, you may be invited to do something else fun. Try, you know, it's Noga. It's, it's the day of love, you know, um, which is why the lovers also came up. Try and do something fun today. You know, spend some time with your kids, spend some time with your family, with friends. Um, you know, even if it's not physically, you know, place a phone call, whatever the case may be. Do what you can to bring that love into you and then you will have the joy radiate out of you because again over here we do not harness energy from other people we give energy to people especially if you're a generator like i am um you give to people you don't just take you don't take from them at all you don't need to take anything from anybody you give to people and um again that's just one of those things that when you know you know you know and it's easier for you to navigate through um different things when you have an, a better a good understanding of yourself so um let's just do the blessing of the separate i need to um this is already so late we're just going to move on to the next thing <laughs> i'll write this down on my own the blessing of the separate blessed be the light beyond all being forever blessed be the mighty one keter blessed be the breathing of origination forever blessed be the mighty one chokma Blessed be eternal wisdom, forever blessed be the mighty one. Bina, blessed be omniscient understanding, forever blessed be the mighty one. Chesed, blessed be perpetual compassion, forever blessed be the mighty one. Givora, blessed be almighty justice, forever blessed be the mighty one. Tifrit, blessed be transcendent beauty, forever blessed be the mighty one. Netzek, blessed be unceasing victory, forever blessed be the mighty one. Had, blessed be surpassing glory, forever blessed be the mighty one. Yes, Odd. Blessed be infallible foundation. Forever blessed be the mighty one. Malchut. Blessed be all life throughout the kingdom. Forever blessed be the mighty one. All praise, glory, and honor goes to the Most High, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Great I Am, loving kindness, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. We thank you for allowing us to speak with the angels for a few moments, and we would like to report back that they have indeed fulfilled the covenant, and therefore we would like credit to be given to them, so that as we ascend, they are also able to ascend. We thank the Holy Mother for always being with us. We acknowledge our older, wiser brother, Yahweh and his perfect example, and of course to the angels who were with us, we thank you for everything. We have let the Most High know that you fulfilled the covenant, and we appreciate your hard work, service, and dedication to us and to the kingdom. Let God be praised in the beginning and the end. Who supplicates him, he will neither despise nor refuse. God above us, God before us, God possessing all things, may the Father of heaven grant us a portion of mercy. Baruch Shem Kevod Maltruto Lo Alam Vayed. 
Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom throughout eternity. Ha Rashaman Hu Yashazir Lanu Avodat Viet Hamikdash Limkoma Bimhira Biyamanu Omen 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 and Selah. May the merciful one restore unto us the service of his holy temple to its place speedily and in our days. Amen, Amen, Amen and Selah. To the spirits who are here with us, you're invited to go in peace. To my beloved viewers, you're invited to be at peace. And always remember, the Most High is your peace. Shalom, everyone. We'll see you for the reading tonight at Sessor.